Just got done talking with Grandpa Steve and we were talking about winemaking. He has a little boutique wine that he does at home and he gets the grapes and he has a little fermentation bucket, transfers it over, all the cool little gadgets that go with it. Something that I don't think I could ever do. But he made it sound really simple. But there was one step in that process or his process that I found really valuable that I think I can use and also you guys it would be really valuable to you guys and that's the idea of taking notes but not just notes on what you've what you're being told to do to do but the mistakes that you you make while you're doing that thing for example uh, we were talking about wine and in his first fermentation bucket there was a seal that you have to go over it that you have to put over it an airtight seal and there's this little cork that you you screw on towards the end well in his first uh, wine making experience he pushed that cork all the way through and it went into the bucket the bucket was already full of all the ingredients and chemicals that you needed for the first fermentation to take place so that was a problem uh, he had to sterilize his hand stick it through the bucket and you know make sure that all the chemicals uh, make sure all the chemicals stayed inside the bucket uh, it was a big mistake that he had made uh, so in his notes he wrote down not to make that mistake to keep the to keep the lid off screw on the the airtight seal before putting the screw on and then rather than pushing it through screwing it on and then placing the seal on top of the, that fermentation bucket and that was a note that he had placed in his notebook I thought that was really insightful I think a lot of us we we get caught up and we we preached to write down the process to go back and take notes and I think those are that's a really important step but I think this is that extra step that's going to make you a little extra better that's going to give you that extra edge on and off the mat so in your process in your learning process or or your your state of learning uh, don't just write down the first initial experience and that initial process take the time to write down your mistakes your while you're doing that thing what you learn maybe it's from a coach a little advice or tips that your coach gives you little small details sometimes uh, write that down maybe it's your partner your training partner with a little or more experience or something small that they say that that uh, really makes a big difference in you doing and executing the technique correctly um, write that down uh, just the the process of writing it down writing the mistake down could help you um, remember that mistake and help you not make it again